Dish, amid layoffs, how David Zaslav might deal with J.J. Abrams' Bad Robot, DC's Walter Hamada, and new Warner Brothers Pictures Chief Mike DeLuca and Pam Abdi. This dropped yesterday afternoon. I didn't see it until last night as I was getting ready to go to bed, which is was really late, and I was like, I'm not recording this. I'll do it tomorrow morning. So here we are. Now, Walter Hamada, incidentally, is no longer in charge of DC uh, Films, and we can go over to this article from Geekosity, uh, it's right here, Walter Hamada is no longer overseeing DC Films. On April 15th, I scooped that Warner Brothers Discovery wanted to replace Hamada. Furthermore, on June 26, 2021, I leaked that new CEO David Zaslav would try to fire the old regime. I mentioned Warner Brothers Group uh, Chairman Toby Emmerich, uh, Warner Brothers Chairman and CEO, and Sarnoff and DC Films President Hamada would feel Zaslav's axe. Sure enough, the axe crashed down on Emmerich and Sarnoff. With uh, Toby Emmerich and Ann Sarnoff leaving, nothing of value was lost. With Walter Hamada leaving, nothing of value will be lost again. It, uh, nobody cares. Nobody cares, Bill. They're garbage, they're not good at what they do, and they bastardized some great films and some projects and characters. So Ann Sarnoff was one that wanted all this female-centric garbage that doesn't work and nobody wants. You're trash. <laughs> Let me sum this up real quick here. This was uh, Scooper Mikey Sutton from GeekosityMag.com. You know, he, he talked about this happening when Zaslov and uh, Discovery came in. Zaslov's not going to take this shit. He's not going to play the identity politics game and, and lose money. That's not what he's about, and good on him for that. So we'll go through this Deadline article, and we'll talk about some of the things here in it. If there was one thing the turbulent week at Warner Brothers Discovery displayed, it's just how quickly conventional wisdom can change from one regime to the next when each is trying to gin up the stock price for Wall Street. Uh, Warner Brothers Discovery chief David Zaslav was busy on the eve of a rumored layoff bloodbath across the company to cut at least $3 billion of debt off the books. There was the abrupt and cruel cancellation of Batgirl in the HBO Max animated feature Scoob, with the latter message delivered while the co-directors were in Morocco as one of them was getting married. They call the cancellation cruel. That's good fiscal sense on David Zaslav's part. Yeah, 70 to 90 million lost on the Batgirl project, but at the same time, it was going to be shit. Nobody wants to see Barbara Gordon not look like Barbara Gordon, okay? Just stop. Just stop. Please, just stop. I've covered this in every video. Please stop. It's it's ridiculous. This race swapping, you know, redhead characters, the ginger side thing, and then the people, oh, it's not, ha it's re every time you have a redhead character, look at, oh, hey, is, is, there, is there a new Little Mermaid that happens to be black? Yeah, what color was Little Mermaid's hair before? Ariel, she was red. Right, her hair was red. Now she's a black girl because we have to retell these stories through a modern lens so people with no imagination can see exactly themselves in the characters because this, <laughs> before 2016, nobody ever could identify with a character that didn't look exactly like them. How creatively bankrupt and fucking stupid are these people? I'll answer for you, very. Uh, there has also been rampant speculation there may be, may be further trims of the HBO Max development slate of J.J. Abrams' Bad Robot after Abrams' big ticket series, Demi Mon, whatever that is, was scrapped in one of their new regime's first moves. Good. It's clear that current DC films had Walter Hamada is hanging on by a spider web. Sorry, wrong superhero franchise. That was a weak pun. As Zaslav enlisted former Disney chief Alan Horn to try and find a Kevin Feige to replicate the success the Marvel Superhero Factory had at that studio. Well, the beginning of that success was not due to Kevin Feige, it was due to John Favreau, and Kevin Feige came in and turned it into what it is now. Which, for a while, he had us fleeced. He did. Feige had us fleeced. Uh, but I guarantee you another project they're going to cancel over there is the Ta-Nehisi Coates Superman movie that uh, race swaps Kal-El. With Zaslav in charge, I don't think that'll ever see the light of day. All of this is evidence just how serious Zaslav is in turning things around. Wall Street was less than impressed, with the stock price dropping 16% after Zaz delivered a week short-term forecast and promised to get under the hood and overhaul. 
Uh, here's what's fascinating to anyone who has watched the studio since the acquisition by AT&T. When John Stanky, Jason Klar, Ann Sarnoff, Bob Greenblatt, and Toby Emmerich were going to make Warner Media a worthy rival to the streaming juggernauts, Netflix and Disney, by leaning in and creating content for HBO Max. None of those people hold those positions anymore as AT&T bolted after discovering how incompatible the high cost of content creation was to its high-end debt load. So today's grand solution is tomorrow's misfire that needs to be repaired. The scrapping of Batgirl and Scoob was triggered by purchase accounting, loophole that created a more favorable financials in killing two completed movies. Zaslav didn't really care about her like. The Dish has heard that participants with back-end buyout deals will get paid on those eventually, but it makes small solace to the creatives, including Scoob Team, that invested four years into the movie. It is not a good signal to the creative community. Coming after the studio tried currying favor in the money crowd by providing access to corporate thinking to the Wall Street Journal that elicited admonition that even sacred cows like Clint Eastwood would not get a free pass anymore. Sure. Well, the thing is, the things that Clint East would do make money, and he has a proven successful track record. Go ahead. Make my day. Nobody fucking cares about a race swap Batgirl movie. And to call it cruel to cancel it, it's like, have you never been involved in a business before where something gets, you know, shot down after it's... This is... It is. It's just the, these people... And Deadline is... Deadline is lamenting this because... Deadline wants these people to lean in on identity politics, of course. So let's let's just go through here and we'll take a look at the things that Deadline thinks that they can do to make uh, this more successful. This is sure to be as exciting a ride as the short-lived AT&T chapter. But here are a few suggestions for Zaz to not cater to the compulsion to make rash decisions to please a fickle Wall Street crowd, a better option might be to remember the creative greatness that comes from risk-taking, patience, and staying the course. And those who've done those things ought to be empowered. See, that's the problem. Those who've done those things ought to be empowered. The problem is they haven't done those things. Most of the things they've done have been financial or critical failures. So let's, let's go through this list in, in short, and we'll talk about their choices here. Rev up J.J. Abrams and his bad robot slate. Yeah, because that'll work well. Ever since HBO axed Abrams' ambitious sci-fi drama, Demamba, Demamane, Demamanamane, hey! Demimond? Demimond? I don't fucking care. His first solo original creation since Alias in June, Hollywood has been a buzz about what the Warner Brothers merger and discovery means for him and his bad reboot pro business at the combined company. Word is Zaslav wants a, him to trim costs on that rich deal or at least get more output for the money. Yeah, they gave him $500 million and what have they got? Uh, he's, you know, oh, well, here's the Tiny Easy Coat Superman movie. Yeah, nobody fucking wants it, bud. Nobody wants it. These people are on the Hollywood teat. That's it. I'm not going to read through. Here we go right here. But Abrams does have a number of feature films in the work at Warner Brothers Discovery. They include a Superman film that Tiny Easy Coats is writing. It's not going to happen. Supernatural Revenge Western, the Pinkerton based on a Dr. Seuss book, Oh, the Places You'll Go. A DC movie based around Zatanna, that Emerald Fennell writing, and a live action Hot Wheels live action movie. A live action Hot Wheels. They already did that. It's called Fast and the Furious, and it wasn't any good. As for Abrams' television slate, uh, his show's canceled. A bad reboot wanted to stay the firm. On the Danielle Deadweiler fronted series budget of around 200 million, while Warner Brothers is looking to rein in costs. This wasn't Abrams' first series to be canned at the company. They proceeded not to go forward with the Shining spinoff, Overlook. Yeah, so this this would it was slated for the streamer late August. So that Shining spinoff is dead in the water now. Projects in development include a series based on DC Comics Madam X with Angela Robinson. Yeah, this. I'm sorry, but doing everything, everything female centric is not going to work. It's it's just it's not going to work. It's not not at all. Like I, I don't understand why these people get so caught up on this. Everything has to be female centric because that's inclusive. That's not inclusive. Uh, leave Walter Hamada alone. <laughs> this is like Chris. What was his name? 
a couple, uh, like a, a couple years ago. Like what, like 15, 16 years ago? Leave Britney alone! Hamada became president of DC Films back in 2018, following the disappointing failure of 2017's Justice League. Another dark and, yeah, Zack Snyder. We, we know the story. Um, Hamada is not good at what he does. Hamada doesn't belong there. Hamada can go, and he's already been taken. Hamada's not in charge of DC Films anymore, which is a good thing. You know, even though Aquaman was successful, uh, we don't need we don't need more of the same. We don't. I don't want Zack Snyder back. Though. I don't want Zack Snyder anywhere near Superman again. Number three, give Mike and Pam the runway they'll need to make Warner Brothers successful. Installing Mike DeLuca and Pam Abdi should have the same impact that MGM got with Kevin Ulrich when he brought them in and let them compete against the streamers for material before selling at a ridiculous multiple to Amazon. Uh, the latter is still trying to figure out what to do with that studio as the dish here is that Emma Watts is still in the mix, but it will come only if Jennifer Salk seeds the turf that Alpha executives will need to build MGM into something formidable. Now that Zaz has DeLuca and Abdi, their success will be based upon patience. What would Zaz's reaction have been if they made the Paul Thomas Anderson directed Licorice Pizza, an art house film about life in the valley. They got three Oscars, including the best picture, but only gross 33 million worldwide. I'd be like, you're fucking fired. Clean out your locker at the club, Bob. You're fucking fired. Like, I'm sorry. Uh, it won, uh, let's see, it got three Oscar noms. Three Oscar nominations, didn't even win. And by the way, most of those films that are made just for the Oscars are terribly boring. I don't watch them. I don't. I know what you're thinking. Oh, you're just uh, just watch these empty, hollow superhero movies. No, I don't. I, I, there's I, I. But films that are made specifically for Oscar voters are pretentious, huffing your own fucking fart garbage. But it only made 33 million worldwide. That's a failure. That's a failure. How much was your budget? You failed. I mean, honestly, if Warner Brothers wants to be successful, you cut that 500 million dollar deal that J.J. Abrams has down, uh, you trim the fat, and you just say, this is what it is, or we'll, we'll just give them, give them a payout of you know a quarter of that and say, here you go, make them walk. Of course, they get caught up in court. There's gotta be a loophole somewhere. J.J. Uh, Abrams doesn't create anything. He's a murderer of franchises and has the track record to prove it. But that's it, that's all I got on the Discovery Warner front for you folks. Uh, what do you think of all this? Do you think it's a good thing Walter Hamada is no longer in charge? I don't really know much about DeLuca and Abdi. I know J.J. Abrams is garbage and Zaslav is based and he's coming in with the big ass broom and sweeping the trash out, taking it out. That's it, folks. I'm Etepo Kooin of the place to be reviews. I've been here with all of you. If I don't see it, have a great day. A pleasant tomorrow. I'll catch you on the next one. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. Coming to the ring in just a moment or two for more exciting fucking action. Get your own. Take that, you bitch! No! What the hell? How'd you like that? Hey, joke's on you, I have hepatitis. <laughs>